Welcome to the month of bearing more fruit. John 15 verse 2 says, The branch that bears fruit, he purgeth that it may bear more fruit. Now to bear fruit is to live a life that glorifies God. It is natural when we plant a plant, we water it, we nurture it, we put fertilizer, we fence it, and we expect fruit. And now how does God cleanse us to bear more fruit? He does it, number one, by speaking to us through his word and asking us to cleanse our lives. And when we listen to his word, we can actually live a life which brings more glory to God. His power is evident in us. Secondly, he also allows situations in our life. There are times when we may not be able to understand God's word or, or respond to it. Then he allows situations in our life through which we are able to understand God's word and cleanse our lives. Eventually, we bear more fruit. Not only that, the pruning or the purging also means in the Greek, he brings healing in our lives. Whatever we would need to bring glory to God, God is ready to give it. Do you need healing? The Lord is able to heal you. For Moses, he was a stutterer, stammerer. God gave him the supernatural ability to do signs and wonders. For Gideon, he was a weakling and a man who was afraid. But God gave him the strength to defeat the Midianite army. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. The Lord will give everything that you ever need so that you can bear more fruit for his glory. He shall heal you as you commit and dedicate yourself to live for God's glory in the second month. He will do everything in your life, all the doors that need to open, all the strength that you need, the finances you need, the skills you need, the opportunities he will give you and you will bear more fruit.